Hi, just popping in to show you a new creation of a tutorial that we're going to have, that I'm going to have, and it's the Echo Park Wish Upon a Star collection, but with a fabric cover. So the tutorial will be up around the 9th through the 15th of May, or June, and I'm going to show you how to do the fabric cover that wasn't quite dry how to do the fabric cover and we're going to actually sew on the buttons some little pin tucking there with the batting and everything now this will come around actually this is meant to go over the button and I wasn't paying attention and I did not cut this long enough so that's the closure where it comes over the button but let me open this and show you so we'll have the you'll have the large buttons this will be available as a project kit so if you want to get the project kit to go along you'll get the chipboard phrases, you'll get the paper collection needed to put your album together and all the different size buttons that you're going to see on the inside. So the back I just left plain. Oh, and you'll get the fabric and the batting. So this just opens and your closure is actually sewn in. So this is not going to come out. And this is not just your one piece of chipboard, but we've got layers of chipboard that really make this strong. And these are the different size buttons that will be in your kit. And there's our chipboard phrases. Absolutely adorable line. I loved it because it's not just for kids. This is actually for me. <laughs> we have a trip for Disneyland and I'm going to be using this for all of our pictures. Now in the tutorial, they'll be a little bit different. I'm going to put my stacked deck pages on the right hand side in reverse because I'm finding to have the stack pages on the stationary side is a lot better. So let's open this and here we have just some of the chipboards and stickers from the sheet and more chipboards. So when you first open this, you have some places for your photos and little wall and actually it's big wall. You can put more in walls. You can take three by fives and cut those down. Then we have this side. And this just duplicates. Now this part was an inspiration that I'd seen. I just loved it. Um, but I did mine a little bit different. Kind of like the stacked envelopes. So on this one we have the photo spots here at the top. This is the coordinating card stock that matches. And this is also your pull. So you can pull this page open. And then you have the same right here. And then you have more room all throughout. And you can also, you just grab the sides and pull. Great interaction for those little ones. And a nice big pocket. So I just slipped in some of the cut aparts on the red. So I used the red artisan cardstock and the black from our store. The kit will be available at countrycraftcreations.com. The project kit, and it will include, like I said, your fabric. You need batting, so the batting will be included. And also your acetate. So that was another request I had. I had someone tell me that their paper closures were always tearing out here on the edge. So I, what doesn't tear? Acetate. The only thing is you do have to have a magnet that's exposed, which it's okay. That's why I covered it with the chipboard. Then we have some more spaces for for our photos. Lots of photo spaces actually. So I use the acetate for the closure down here. And what I really like is the decorative brads. And I'm going to be using more of the brads I think in the other book because I hate to just sell you them for the smaller chipboards because there are some you can use on the chipboard phrases, but I like these little minier ones. They're a lot smaller. And they are on the bottom of the brads, but the brads are really cute. This is just a nice little waterfall for your photos. That will close. And even the ribbon is included in your in your kits. Now the ribbon will be a little bit different. This was just some leftovers I had. It's actually a different black and white check. And it goes really cute with this line also.
again, acetate sheet so that you don't have to worry about any of your closures uh, tearing. So, sorry, we've got a lot of kids playing out back. This was a cut apart sheet. And this side is the waterfall side, but made into bigger pages for your mini album pages. And great for the four by six pictures. You can cut them down. That was my beagle Wilbur when he was just little. But see, you have so much waste. Just cut this off. You can get two of them down. So the whole idea here is either journaling our ticket stubs when we go to Disney this fall or... Um, Sometimes you get little menus from the restaurant so I can put in here. I can journal. And the only thing is I need to go ahead and finish this up. I need to put my little strips there and I'll do that also in the tutorial with you guys. But the paper, see how cute it is? It even has some of that retro feel, especially to the ticket. I like the ticket one. Again, not just for kids. It's going to be for me for adults. And this is the back page. And again, this is so secure under the sandwiched chipboard that nothing is going to come apart. And that is my little Wish Upon a Star mini album that we'll be doing the tutorial for about the middle of June with the fabric cover. And this will be made longer so it goes to the back. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I can't wait to get the tutorial done for you. The project kit will be on countrycraftcreations.com, and it should be up next week. Thanks for watching.